I'm Greg Peterson. I'm an attorney in Jamestown. I am the president of the board of the Robert H. Jackson Center. The center is designed to preserve the legacy of Justice Robert Jackson, a local story of a person who gained many qualities from living here to play on a very national and international stage. And in 1934, uh, Robert Jackson was asked to go to Washington. So after 20 years of practice here, he decided to move to Washington. He was general counsel for what is now known as the Internal Revenue Service and had the opportunity to prosecute Andrew Mellon successfully. And as a result of his work there, subsequently rose through the public sector to become assistant attorney general, solicitor general, attorney general in 1941 was nominated by President Roosevelt to become a member of the Supreme Court. He was confirmed in 1945 and 1946. He was uh, appointed by President Truman to go to Nuremberg and was the chief American prosecutor of the war criminals. He left a legacy, a legacy which is being played out today in the Supreme Court as well as international law. Yesterday, we were privileged to have the inaugural Bible come in from New York City, the St. John's Lodge Number no. 1 of the Masonic Order owns the Bible upon which George Washington took the oath of office. When he said, so help me God, he added that to the uh, oath of office. It's not in the Constitution, and every president since then has always said the same. The Kappa Theater is a 200-seat theater, which has um, was built originally in 1925, and on the walls are 22 pictures that were taken by the official Nuremberg photographer, Ray Diodario. Well, we've also included in the basement of this facility an archway which uh, apparently was part of a tunnel which led from the front part of this house on 4th Street across 4th Street over to a church which is catty corner here, which has caused a great deal of interest. The Robert H. Jackson Center, within a very short period of time, has been part of a, a renaissance. And I think it's uh, an opportunity for us to see that, that Jamestown is vibrant, that there is from its past something which is relevant today and something which is relevant not only to our local region but also on a national level.